Ever found yourself pondering, is Bill Gates' appeal really safe? It's a question that has been swirling around ever since this innovative product made its debut on the market. Given its connection to one of the world's most renowned tech moguls, Bill Gates and its rapidly increasing popularity, it's only natural to wonder about its safety. So what's the reality behind Appeal and its use on our everyday produce? Stay tuned as we delve into the details of Appeal and its safety. Before we can answer the question of safety, we need to understand what Appeal is. Appeal is not some mysterious concoction, but a plant-derived coating that has been designed with a very specific purpose in mind. It is created to extend the shelf life of produce. And why is that important, you might ask? Because by doing so, it helps in reducing food waste, which is a significant global issue. Not only that, but it also enhances food security, ensuring that the food we buy stays fresh for longer, and reducing the need for frequent trips to the grocery store. The making of appeal involves using parts of plants to create an invisible, edible barrier that slows down the rate of water loss and oxidation the main causes of spoilage and fresh produce. Now that we understand what appeal is, we can look at the key points that question its safety. So what exactly is in appeal that might raise safety concerns, you may ask? Let's dive in. Appeal is a plant-derived product, concocted from lipids and glycerolipids, which are naturally occurring substances found in the skins, peels and seeds of fruits and vegetables. It's like giving the produce an extra peel. These ingredients are food grade, meaning they are safe for consumption. But let's not stop there. It's important to understand that these ingredients have been rigorously tested and are generally recognized as safe by the US Food and Drug Administration, or FDA. This designation is not handed out lightly. It requires substantial evidence that the substance is safe under the conditions of its intended use. Despite this, some misconceptions may still circulate. One common concern might be about the potential for allergy risks, However, because appeal is derived from elements common in our everyday diets, the potential for allergies is no more than consuming fruits and vegetables themselves. Another misconception might be that appeal alters the taste of the produce. But in reality, appeal is tasteless and does not change the flavor profile of the fruits or veggies it coats. In essence, appeal is like an extra layer of skin for fruits and vegetables made from ingredients you're likely already consuming in your diet. It's a product of nature, designed to protect nature. Knowing what's inside Appeal we can further explore potential issues. Despite its many benefits, Appeal isn't without its critics. There's a growing chorus of concern about potential allergenic reactions. Some have voiced worries that the plant-derived lipids used in Appeal may trigger allergic reactions in those with sensitivities to certain fruits and vegetables. This of course could pose a significant problem for those with dietary restrictions or allergies. Then there's the environmental aspect. While Appeal's primary goal is to reduce food waste, questions have been raised about the energy and resources required to produce the coating. Critics argue that the process may contribute to carbon emissions, somewhat undermining the product's green credentials. Finally, there's a debate about the potential impact on local economies. As Appeal allows fruits and vegetables to be transported over long distances without spoiling, it may affect local farmers who rely on the freshness of their produce to compete against imported goods. These concerns, while valid, don't necessarily mean appeal is unsafe. Let's wrap up our discussion on appeal safety. We've delved into the specifics of what appeal is, how it's made, and why it's used. From its plant-derived ingredients to its purpose of extending the freshness of produce, appeal has been designed with the intention of reducing food waste and promoting sustainability. We've also touched on the issues surrounding appeal, such as the potential presence of trans fats and the questions raised about its long-term effects. Although these concerns are valid, it's important to remember that appeal is generally recognized as safe by the FDA. However, like with any product, it's crucial to remember that further studies and ongoing research may bring new information to light. In conclusion, while there are some concerns about appeal, it is generally considered safe. As always, it's important to do your own research and make informed decisions about the products you use. Alright folks, that's it for our deep dive into appeal safety. We hope this video was insightful and helped you understand the product a bit better. We encourage you to like, share, and subscribe if you found this video informative and want to see more content like this. Remember, staying informed and doing your own research is key, especially in an ever-evolving field like food technology. Your engagement, your comments, and your questions help us shape our content and make it as valuable as possible for you. So if you have any thoughts, concerns, or queries about appeal, 
or if there are any other topics you'd like us to cover, don't hesitate to drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video. Before we wrap up, we'd like to thank you once again for your support. Your likes, shares, and subscribes mean the world to us and help us continue to bring you more informative videos like this one. If you haven't done so yet, please hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned because in our next video, we'll be exploring another fascinating topic in the world of food technology. You won't want to miss it. Thanks for your support, and stay tuned for more.